Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an interesting question that many developers encounter. Our viewer is curious about the differences between expression-bodied properties and traditional get and set accessors in c -sharp. Specifically, they ask if there's any advantage to using the new expression-bodied syntax generated by Visual Studio 2017, or if it's simply a matter of personal preference and readability. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. Let's explore the differences between expression-bodied properties and traditional get and set accessors in c -sharp. First, we'll look at the expression-bodied property syntax. This syntax allows for a more concise representation of properties, especially when the property logic is simple. It can improve readability by reducing boilerplate code. Now let's compare this to the traditional property syntax, which looks like this, internal static string username get set. The traditional syntax is straightforward and works well for simple properties. However, it doesn't allow for custom logic during getting or setting values without additional code. In conclusion, the choice between these two styles often comes down to personal preference and the specific requirements of your code. For simple properties, either style is acceptable. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Let's talk about the advantages of expression-bodied properties compared to traditional getters and setters. First, you type less, which saves time. Second, they are easier to read quickly. Third, they don't imply that the getter or setter is doing anything special, making the code clearer. Lastly, using expression-bodied properties results in fewer results when you search for references in your code. However, it's important to note that there might be some drawbacks to expression-bodied properties as highlighted by other users. Always consider the context of your code. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.